Hello there, guys. It's Rantage Gaming. I'm Ant. And I'm Ryan. And we're doing a look back at the Crisis series uh, to date so far. Uh, so, Crisis 1, Warhead, and Crisis 2. Uh, starting off with uh, the first Crisis, came out in 2011. Uh, you've never been a big fan of the Crisis series, have you? I've, I've never played a single Crisis game in my life. Really? Never. Um, Apart from the Elevator Party. I do know about the Elevator Party. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Um, so, uh, this is Crisis 1, like I said before. Um, 2011 release on PC. Is the Elevator Party in this video? No. Fail. <clears throat> uh, so, yeah. Got a bit of con uh, gun customization. <laughs> gun customization. <laughs> got, got a bit of gun customization in there. Um, you can customize your weapons on the fly, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, a few things I like about this game. It looks beautiful. It looks cracking on PC. Um, it looks amazing. If you've got a PC that can run it, get it on PC if you do get it. Because um, it looks lush. Uh, a lot of mods for it as well. Get high texture mods and blah blah blah, blah mods and uh, it typical looks, for PC gamers. It looks amazing. It's true though. You can't deny it. Um, <clears throat> what I don't like about the game is uh, the game. <laughs> no, I, I, I like it. It's fun, but it's not much more than that. It's just something to pass the time for me. Really, some people really, 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 really like it. Um, it's just a first-person shooter in a super suit. Um, nothing amazing. Um, Graphically is probably the main thing that it gets its appeal from. Um, Talk about the game. What's happening right here? What's happening right here is I am decimating some guys because I've got a super suit. Um, it took like 500 kills in the first game to uh, 500 uh, hits in the first game to actually get a kill. It was ridiculous. It gets, that gets old pretty quick. Um, my favourite of the series is Crisis Warhead, which you'll see um, up ahead. I mean, the guy you play in this Nomad is just. It's got about as much fucking personality as a wet flannel, so it's uh, it, <sighs> yeah, I, I a. Really, I really want to like it more than I do, but I just I can't. Um, but here I'm showing you a little bit of like you can. Um, what is cool about Crisis is you can play it how you want to play it, um, which was less so in uh, Crisis Two. You can adjust your game style quite a lot more than you can in other first person shooters like you can you can be stealthy you can come around the like them the outside flank and do all that kind of cool stuff that was pretty fun thinking of tactical options that you can take and stuff like that crisis 2 just told you what to do pretty much which took a lot of right think and this is the badass you play as that's that's psycho Renegade. yeah that's the guy you play in uh, warhead warhead sorry which is coming up now crisis warhead where you play as psycho one of the secondary characters from the first one uh, who i like a lot more I think he had a bit more charisma than Nomad ever did. Uh, this is me grabbing a guy, throwing him, a throwing him into a wall. Into a bush. And he got back up and... Blat him in the head. There we go. Enemies died like you, sh like you would expect when you shoot someone in the back of the head in this one, which was nice. A little bit of AI feel yeah, here. You've got, uh, yeah, we've got AI feel here. Um, but yeah, you can... Your suit, you can have strength mode on, which reduces recoil. You can jump really high and stuff like that. Um, which is good for when you're sniping and running about and what have you. You get speed mode, so you can like, which I'll show, which is shown later in the video. Here's an AI fail. Shoot his helmet off. Doesn't give a shit. Pick him in the air. Throw him up in the air. Put a strength mode on. What? Black him on the way back down. Why not? Pretty cool. Am I right in saying that the progression of this game got gradually worse? In what regard? In the regard that the second game is shit compared to the first game. Yes, I think. Uh, <coughs> It peaked with Warhead, and then compared to the first game, Crisis 2, uh, it's more of a benchmark, really. Um, it looks amazing, Crisis 2, but anyway, let's talk about Warhead, because that's what we've got in here. Lots of footage there, that was me using speed mode to kill that tank there. New features, we had new weapons and dual wielding and stuff like that, that was cool. Um, got a bit of a cutscene here, uh, which showed a little bit of like what Psycho was about and what have you. He's just one of the one of like secondary characters, O'Neill, I think his name is. He's gonna kill this guy in cycles like no bitch. But he gives him a slap. Gives him a slap. That was the funniest thing, that's why I left this in. Why? He was unarmed. You ready for this? Ready for this? Pimp slap! <laughs> I like it. Uh, here's sniping. I thought I'd show some sniping. Um got your strength mode on, reduces your recoil like recoil like I mentioned before. Um it's pretty fun. I mean, it doesn't play play a massive role in the game um, because, like, you'll find a sniper rifle, use all the ammo, and never find any ammo. It's fucking, it's annoying. 
He has a speed mode, just uh, bulldoze that guy. That was, that was the worst one. What was nice about this one is you could switch your suit modes and just have it like in armor mode all the time, whereas in Crisis 2 it's more like you hold space part for a power jump and stuff like that, which kind of ruined the immersion a little bit. Um, punch him in the mouth, why not? Should be in British. Uh, and uh, yes, aliens, that's the whole story. That's, uh, the aliens from the first Crisis to like the second one was like changed so much, just ruined the continuity a little bit. But uh, Crisis Warhead also had these fun little uh, missions like you know you've got like a hovercraft here when you're chasing some guy and stuff like that. Uh, it was always lots of fun. Uh, hovercrafts are full of air. Yeah, fans mainly. Little, little, little fact for you there. Yeah. Did you find a way so I've got some gameplay coming up showing you some of the aliens and stuff like that. Hopefully, eventually, when it comes. Blat! Didn't die because there was foliage in the way. Don't know why. It's just foliage is invincible. <laughs> of course it couldn't get up there. <coughs> it's been growing for many a year. Okay, so. It's a dog. If you can hear the dog snoring. Shut up, dog! What's that puncher in the head? Yeah, you go puncher in the head. So yeah, uh, aliens, aliens shooting, shooting Koreans, right, shooting stuff, shooting. That's pretty much crisis in a nutshell. Running about, shooting. Uh, it was yeah. enjoyable. It was fun. It was it was it was enjoyable. It was it was fun for a while, and then just meh, meh, meh. Meh. There are better. There are better shooters out there. Like the Call of Duty series. Oh, <laughs> fanboy war. <laughs> fanboy war. Nah, Call of Duty series sucks really, but it's popular, so why not? I, I'm sure the people who buy Call of Duty really don't like it that much. Yeah, it's but just because just it's buy uh, it because everyone else fashionable. in the world buys it. I'm not gonna lie, I do like some of the Call of Duty games. <coughs> not fair. That's good. I like Black Ops too. I'm a campaign player myself. I do enjoy the campaigns. Well, it's just, it's just it's ridiculous. Anyway, this is a crisis video. Sorry. So. Yeah, it's just crisis. <laughs> we'll do a Black Ops video, no, a Call of Duty video. We'll do several. We'll do several. Yes. We've already got some money anyway. Uh, so yeah, Crisis 1, Crisis Warhead. Crisis Warhead being the best of the series. If you're actually going to play a crisis game, play this one. It's, in our opinion. It, it, well, it is. It's just a fact, isn't it? It's, my opinion is fact. Crisis 2 is massively based on the graphics, I think. It is. It's, it's more graphic. But you'll, 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 you'll see that in a bit. Graphically, it was immense. And here we go. We're going to show you some Crisis 2 now. Immediately when we go in, you'll you'll you, it feels changed quite a lot. It feels a lot different. Your hood's a lot more complex. And it's 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 boring. <laughs> just uh, just a note. This is actually played on its computer on the lowest graphics. This is this is on the lowest, so I could get a decent frame rate for fraps. Um, the graphics do get a lot more advanced. Oh yeah, if you get, if you run it on high. Uh, Funnily yeah. enough, the lowest graphics setting on this game is actually called high. Yeah, I mean there is no low on this. It is, no. It's just high. It's um, high. What amazing and ultra. It's like realistic, godlike, amazing. Oh my god, that shit just happened right in front of me. Really, yeah. I'm gonna cry and go to sleep. Yeah, that's the graphic settings. That's that's, that's, that's the last one. That's that's what it is. Uh, so here I'm showing a little bit more tactical gameplay from. Crisis 2, grab that grab that alien. As you can see, the aliens are a lot different than bipedal in this. You try to be stealthy, but the alien makes a lot of noise. I know, you kill the alien stealthily and it just screams and everyone knows where you are. So you just get blattered. How dare they scream when they die? What was pretty cool in Crisis 2 is um, as you kill aliens, you collect stuff off them that um, gives you kind of like currency um, to make suit upgrades. That was a cool idea, but it wasn't implemented very well in my opinion. The upgrades are crap and just pointless. Uh, in my opinion, that's some terrible shooting. <laughs> uh, I'm not very good at these games. I don't play them enough. You grab uh, insta kill, insta kill by just gently throwing it against the wall, <laughs> which was always fun. They love bullets, but they hate the soft touch of a human hand. Yeah, yeah. It's just oh no, it touched me. You gotta die. They, they do gotta have die. intimacy problems. These aliens. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's something to do with that. He probably knobs them when he picks them up. Yeah, there's probably something going on off screen that you don't see. That's what I like to think. So yeah, Crisis 2. Crisis 1, meh. Crisis Warhead, okay. Crisis 2, meh. <laughs> Crisis 3... That's um, the official... That, that's the official rating. verdict. That's uh, that's the meta score. Um, 
Crisis 3 rumours, it's well, it is going to be more more of an open world experience where you can just run about and do stuff. Uh, it's going to have some cool multiplayer modes, I've heard. Uh, hopefully it's going to merge the best parts of 1 and 2. Yeah, hopefully it's going to take take the good parts, multiply them, and uh, get rid of the shit parts. Um, the majority of the game. <laughs> No, the game's not shit. It's just generic. I think it's, yeah. there's nothing. There's nothing special about it except the graphics, which is why PC gamers just bum it. Here, I'm showing you the the uh, suit customization that I was talking about earlier. So, as you get that currency, it's called Nano Catalyst, but whatever. Just go and play it. You'll know what I'm talking about. Um, you can make those suit upgrades. Uh, you can increase like how long your stealth lasts and stuff like that. But it's nothing too special. It doesn't really add that much to the game. I would like to see more of that in Crisis 3 implemented a little bit better. Not like Deus Ex Human Revolutions, <laughs> where you upgrade your shit and it makes you awesome. Yeah. I'm gonna, I want to make a, a revolution game. Okay. I'm going to show you. Cause you've you heard it here first, where you're going to do Deus Ex uh, Human Revolution. You've never played a Deus Ex game before? I haven't, no. I think we'll have a little bit of uh, the first game and the modern game. Just to show I know all about maybe a bit of a side by side thing. Definitely. We're making ideas during a video. The two games are massively different, but they're both <coughs> awesome in their own way. Mm. Anyway, we're playing Crisis now. Yeah, we're playing Crisis. <laughs> yeah. Sadly. Uh, so, yeah, pretty basic. Pretty basic stuff, nothing. Anyone who's clicked on this video who's a massive fan and we're sitting here. Like, just we're just <laughs> we're ripping destroying it apart. <laughs> Crisis. It's not uh, a bag, it's a playable game. It's, a pl it's, 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 it's fun uh, for a while. Seven minutes. Stories. No. The best part of the game is the elevator party, which Ant has left out of the video. I which know. I'm quite disappointed in. Sorry. M maybe we can edit the video at the end and pop that in. I can't be asked. I'm not going to bother. We'll do a separate video if we really want to. No, no. We'll, you've got the footage. We'll pop it in at the end. No, we're not going to do I that. I think we're going to pop it in. I think again. we're not going to do that. It's going to take a second. We'll see. Maybe we might pop it in at the end. You'll see. You'll, you'll have to stay tuned. Keep watching. Don't skip to the end. Don't skip to the end. Just keep watching. Yeah. So here's me getting a sweet near kill. As I'm getting destroyed. I'm running around here. Hide behind here. Oh, no, they're still shooting. Uh, just fancy chucking the grenade. Just hoping I get a kill. There's going to be an elevator party. And what, what, what? Boom. Good shot. Well done, Ant. Thank you. Nice shot. Yeah, thank you. So do you have to switch to the grenades as your primary weapon before you can throw them? Yeah, it's crap. I don't like yeah. that. Card has pretty much ruined any other game for that whole system. Yeah. <laughs> <back -up -ness coughs> yeah, I mean, that's the thing about... Call of Duty has kind of defined what first-person shooter controls should be, um, and Crisis didn't follow that. So it, I'm not saying Call of Duty got it right, but they kind of got it right. <laughs> nah, the games might not be awesome, but the gameplay is perfect. The gameplay is cool. It works. It works. So uh, this has been Crisis. Um, <laughs> you know what we think of it. It's a, uh, it's a fun game. Could have been better. Uh, they're more benchmark than anything else. Um, came out on consoles, obviously. Um, if you're gonna be like you know, cool like me, you're gonna play it on PC. Yeah, PC fan. And here's me, like, uh, like, do 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 it probably won't be any good. It probably it might be. I'm hoping so. Um, we'll we'll leave it neutral. Uh, so elevator dance party. Elevator to fucking dance party. Best part of the game. Have to put it in.
Good job, Psycho. I think we're done here. <laughs>